Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best priced Class A diesel pushers in the entire history of RVs. And this one is also bath and a half. This is the 2023 Fleetwood Pacero. Model is 36U. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Pacero and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. back to another video again today i am super excited to be showing you guys this beautiful 36u pace arrow guys wait till you hear the sale price it is absolutely fantastic before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going good it's been a really long time since i've even seen a pace arrow yes ma'am so let's let's do it andrea it's been a while but let me tell you it has been worth the wait the reason why andrea is because this unit has a phenomenal sale price. Let's begin. Andrea, model is Pacero 36U. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet, seven inches. This is the Pacero. It is an entry level diesel pusher. It does have the Freightliner XCS chassis, straight rail. It's 340 horsepower Cummins engine and a 6,000 diesel generator. As you can hear right now, Andrea, the generator is on. The generator's running and it's really not that loud. It's super nice. Right there, you got your iconic Fleetwood headlight designs. You got the LED lights, nice big windshield. Notice how this sits a little bit lower than most traditional diesel pushers. And then right there, you have a nice mobile eye collision mitigation. This is just like a junior diesel pusher, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna give you that little bit of extra um that air ride suspension without being a monster 45 foot diesel pusher. Coming on down the side here, it is a diesel pusher because the engine's actually in the rear and the generator's up front. Right here we do have two mirrors on both sides, black mirrors with cameras integrated in the mirrors. No front door here, that's one of the advantages of it being a straight rail. So you do have a very nice doggy window. Frameless windows throughout this motorhome as well. And then right there, you got a little bit of storage up front. And then look at these tires, Randall and Michelin's. I love those. 255-70R, 22.5, very nice. We do have shiny rims right there so everybody can see. And then right here, Andrea, we do have fuel fill up on both sides of the motorhome, left side and right side. When you look on down, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And again, Fleetwood, Upfits the chassis, it's the Freedom Sport chassis, but it's still an XCS. S is straight rail. You're gonna see what that looks like in just a moment. Right here, we have a very nice Samsung TV on the outside. Look at how big that is. That's a good size TV. Yes, ma'am. Right here, whoa, well, look at that propane whoa. tank. That's like a little butterball propane tank. <laughs> and then Miss Jen, bing! If you could put all the specs right there so everybody can see who is watching on television. Coming on down, you don't have the aluminum slam latch doors, but it's still very nice. And you see that straight rail right there, Andrea? Yes. That makes this motor home less expensive than what's the raised rail, but so it helps with the price point, but it does limit some of your storage there. But still, Andrea. Still good storage. Still very nice storage. And then we have a little bit Nope, right over here is our inverter and disconnect switch. Pretty paint job too. Oh, the paint job is absolutely beautiful. You already know Fleetwood does a great job with interior and exterior colors. Right here we got a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. Instant hot tankless water heater, very nice. And then here, just a little bit more storage and that is your hydraulic reservoir for your auto leveling. Coming around the back, Andrea, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Love the way this looks, love the way it's designed. No ladder to get up on the roof, womp womp. But I will say that no ladder is better than that half ladder. Backup camera there, it is a one piece TPO roof from Fleetwood. Right here, we do have a hitch. It is rated for 10,000 pounds. I'm definitely not saying you can tow 10,000 pounds. Take your GVWR from your GCWR, that's how you're able to tell. And right here, Andrea, 
it actually does come prepped with the uh, air with the air compressor for if you want to have like a stacker trailer or the Air Force One brakes. Coming around to the driver's side. Ooh. You got some batteries right there. Lots of batteries. Yes, ma'am. Right here is your power cable, 50 amp power cable. There's where you fill up your DEF. All right, finishing up with the outside. Oh, you have a very nice very wet nice. bay. Uh, water filtration system, outdoor shower. That's where you dump your tanks. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Right over here. The other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. Definitely not bad. No, that's really good. And Andrea, I mean, the generator's been running the whole time, and it really isn't that loud at all. So here's our fuel fill up. Yes. And then that's where the generator is, right? Uh, or where the yeah. release thing is. Exactly. And your blinker fluid? Blinker fluid. <laughs> well, Andrea, the outside of the Pace Arrow looks beautiful, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. Take a look, ma'am. Wow, cargo carry capacity, 5,513 pounds. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, okay, good walkway. Wow, there's the fridge. You can definitely open that. Walking down, I have plenty of space. Let's see. Gets a little bit tighter right here, but it's doable. Here is the half bath. And then the master bedroom, which looks like the bed is a tilt-a-bed. Yes, ma'am. Andrea, while we get these slide outs open, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, wow. Guys, it's really pretty in here. this is a beautiful motorhome. Please wait until you hear the price point of this. A lot of people think they, they can't afford diesel pushers. And I'm not saying, one can or can't but this is very close to some of the prices of gas motorhomes make sure you guys stick around andre we're starting right up front here again one of the big advantages to the diesel pusher is going to be this freightliner chassis the telescoping steering wheel the air ride suspension while you're driving down the road fantastic you got your light controls right here here's where you adjust your mirrors mobile eye collision mitigation very nice digital dash Right here is where you see your screen. You can see your left side, your right side, and reverse side. This Freightliner chassis is so nice, but what's even nicer, Andrea, is this co-captain seat. Ooh, Tell me how you feel. It's very comfortable. I mean, ample leg space. Yes, look at that. Plenty and, of leg space. Um, they do swivel both seats. Yes. The pedestal table. And Matt, I totally forgot about the horn. I want to hear the horn in oh, here. Oh, we're going to hear the horn. Power seats, really comfortable, tons of space. Both of them do swivel. Yes. And there is a pedestal table that would go there. Yes, ma'am. And then right here, Andrea. Andrea thought I forgot. Andrea, I never forget. And you know who else doesn't forget? Tom and Sherry, who cut you off over in the left lane. They disrespect you because they think you're slow in a diesel pusher. Well, you know what you got to say to them? <laughs> Move out of my way. I love it. Yes. And then, Don't let nobody cut you off, not in a right. pace arrow. 
We've got really pretty uh, cabinets above here. Yes. Very yeah. nice. Nice cabinets. What's in here? Oh, okay. Yep, your King Air digital antenna and everything. Andrea, this does drop down to make a bed. It's a Fleetwood, so the whole thing comes down, and it's that little mattress. It's, it's definitely not the best mattress out there, but what is very nice about this diesel pusher, Andrea, is the fact that even since it has a bunk over the cab, you don't have that front bus door, so it's not blocking the exit when you have this, making this a great alternative for somebody that has one guest that comes with them. And it does have a ladder that goes there. Yes, right over here. There's the auto yeah. leveling. Auto leveling controls and everything. Over there, you got a little nook right here. Storage above here, very nice. And then Andrea, look at this balance. I mean, it's right here. I couldn't help but notice it. Andrea. Approved, bing. Oh, Andrea loves that balance. Very cute. You know what else I'm liking, Andrea? I did see those, the shades. Daytime and privacy MCD love the color and guys so many manufacturers are just doing the plain black which is a lot cheaper i love how fleetwood does it i mean i'm telling you andrea spot freaking on they know she mindy does it again right here beautiful cabinetry white cabinetry with this gray line right there this goes all the way across yes too. and then look at this dinette you got this rear padding andrea it's the little things that make the big difference. I love the square padding because this now just turns it from a dinette to an actual comfortable seat. This table does drop down to make a bed. And... And there's storage. Is under, there? Under, under. Ah. Yes, ma'am. sides. Very nice. Storage underneath the dinette. Now, here's what I will say. This dinette is going to be a smaller dinette once it does drop down and make a bed. Over here, Andrea, in the living room, we have more cabinetry. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Again, with the balances, privacy shades. And then look at this theater seat. I'm ready for it. Oh, yeah. Storage right there. Cup holders. Electric recliners. Oh, man. We're going down, down, baby. Upstream the Range Rover. Sweet, sweet, baby. Let me go, Jimmy, Jimmy, Coco Pup. You know who uh, sings that song? Oh, gosh. Is it Nelly? Yes, it, good job. <laughs> Country grammar. Andrea, this is a very comfortable theater seat. And this is what people want when, um, when they're uh, in a diesel pusher. And Andrea, I'm seeing something. Oh, uh -oh. no, I'm not. Okay. I thought I was seeing it. And I was like, oh, man, I think the whole thing. There is storage, or not really, just a little bit. It's where you can keep your secret stuff uh, right there behind the TV. But I thought it was one of those ones where the whole thing came out. Right there. A little bit of storage. Nice sound bar. Nice little mantle there with a fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace, Andrea, it does produce heat from electricity. And let's check out this half bath. Oh, weird door. Andre, it's not a weird door. It is a normal door, but it is weird how it's swinging inward. Right, maybe that's why I think it's weird. Yes. Horse and toilet. Andre, these half baths are just so tough. Uh, I'm just leaning up too far against this wall. This is not a prime pooping position. What do we got up there? We got storage above. And then behind Phew. me, God bless you, Thank behind you, me we have medicine cabinets. Yes, ma'am. Here as well. And what's that? Oh, liquefied. I didn't know it was in this one. The best RV toilet treatment. Guys, you can get this at primepoopingposition.com. Well, both bathrooms will need it, Matt. Of course. And we got a good size sink here. More yes. storage underneath. Yes. And towel racks right here. All right. Definitely not bad on this half bath. But again, with all half fast, it's just really, really tight in there. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Guys, I told you guys to stick around for this one today. MSRP on this motorhome here is $367,046. Andrea, that is MSRP. 
Just so everybody knows, it is stock number 237673. We have it 40% off. Wow. That's $150,000 discount almost to $219,995 on Dreoff. That is a phenomenal price for a Class A diesel pusher motorhome. And Andrea, I don't even think I can get anybody a better price than that. 40% off, I mean, I know that's below cost. Here's what I do know. Our team is dedicated to helping everybody get the absolute best price in America. So if you're interested in getting this unit, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. Fill out the contact form. I've linked the website down below. You can get there to mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to our team and our team is here and is dedicated to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show us this kitchen and you actually got to start on this side. I do. The refrigerator is all the way over here. Right. So we've got a residential LG refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Good size and oh, that's different. See how it opens this way? A lot right. Of open this way. Interesting. But that's cool. Very sleek looking. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then it locks. All right. And then um, behind me, we have the cabinet here with adjustable shelves. Wow, very big and spacious. Nice window, solid surface countertop, very pretty as okay. usual. Double sink. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then we have the um, extension here. Yes. And then over here we've got more storage with an adjustable shelf. Okay. A place for sponges. Uh, oh, Fleetwood gave a trash can. Hey, that's a $156 trash can. Wow. All right. Over here we've got some storage above. Oh, no. That is where your fuses are, I think. Okay. And then we've got the Insignia Convection Microwave. Mm. Really, really cute box. I'm flash. loving that. Uh, Look at the color choices. I like it. Mm. And then the two burner induction Dometic cooktop. And then two drawers. Wow. This is nice. Yes, it is. And what do we got here? More, more drawers. Over here's your pantry. Oh, I love it. Wow, Look adjustable sh well, or, um, pull out shelving. That's kind of high though. I guess you'd have to be like tall to be able to get in there. That's where you hide all the little Debbies from me. Right. <laughs> And then you got adjustable shelves down here, which is nice. Very nice. All right, Andrea. Very pretty. Going on into the master bedroom. Got a nice pocket door right there. Just like that. It is a tilt-up bed. You guys know how we feel about that. King just size. Is what it is. Power and USB over there. Little teeny nightstand. Wardrobe atop with you mean uh, storage. Storage up top with the cutout right there, so you can put a CPAP. Yes, and right there behind is a nice headboard with two windows on both sides of the bed. Over here, wow. Got a wardrobe. Look, space up there too. Storage behind the TV. Yes, ma'am. This one's nice. real storage, yes. And then here is the other wardrobe. Wow, and then check this out, Andrea. A side-by-side -side Whirlpool washer dryer. I love that. Not only that, here's a nice place for you to fold your clothes. And then you even got some secret storage right there. Over here. Three drawers. Yes, ma'am. Good size. Wow, very nice. And then over there as well. Andrea. See, I like the setup like this. Yes, yes. Very, very nice. And then over here. Interesting. Nice okay. one piece fiberglass shower, Andrea. Okay, and it's got a seat in there. Yeah, it's a little tight, but it's still very nice. I love this seat right here. One piece fiberglass gets the job done. Well, you really, know what? Really I fantastic. think they made that seat really big. Yeah. And I think that if they didn't make it so big, probably would have had more showers. No, no, no. I mean this way. Oh. No, th this way I'm fine. This way I'm totally fine. But it's not a big step up. You do have a nice glass door and everything. All right, uh, I'm, I'm right here, so I'm gonna, oh my goodness, wow. look at this. Adjustable shelves, really good storage in here for your linens. We've got a medicine cabinet, two of them up here. Wow, that very nice. That is a nice. lot of storage, wow. All right, so a lot of counter right here. Okay. Nice sink. Holy smokes. Storage under. Andrea, that is a lot of countertop it space. It is. Drawers, and then another drawer. Yes, ma'am. 
All right. Here we go now. Andrea, we've had no luck. All I day know. Long. Let's hope this one is. It's very close. But Andrea, Fleetwood's getting the benefit of the doubt. Only because our first two videos today, all three toilets failed. And then that one failed. So we were at like four losses. And again, this, I could pass this, I could fail this. But because of the circumstances, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Finally. Very nice. And Andrea, a lot of people are gonna say, man, you can't do circumstances. Well, but guess what? Guess it what? It actually is. I can. <laughs> I can. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now before every, oh, and you know what? You know another reason why we're gonna pass it? Cause it's 40% off MSRP and you deserve a pass. It's now time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike, Andrea. Wow. This is gonna be so tough. It really is. But what do we do first? Let's just do the dislikes. Okay, let's get the first one out of the way, which is outside. Andrea, dislike number one, I hate saying this and I hate sounding like a broken record, but you know what I hate more than sounding like a broken record? No 50 amp power cord reel on a diesel pusher. Andrea, I don't care what this price was, even though the price was fantastic, give me a 50 amp power cord reel. It's a diesel pusher. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? All right, dislike number two for me is going to be, oh, okay. It's really hard. Yes, it is. But I do not like the refrigerator behind the driver. Really? Side. Why is that? I just don't. I don't know. I've never been really Feels out of place? It. Yes. Okay. That's number two. And then Andrea, I just saw something because I'm looking around and I'm like, you know, we got to find a third dislike. It's a small one, so I'm going to combo it. First, no workstation in the driver's area. It actually really would have been nice, especially since there was a mid-entry door. Yes. It could have been the, a diesel pusher oh, with yeah. the workstation. But I'm going to combo that with the carpet on the slide. I out. know. We didn't even notice it. But since this motorhome's so fantastic, we have to figure out something. And that's just what it is. It is what it is, and it is what it does. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. And Andrea, I'm gonna steal yours. I'm gonna say the interior design, the cabinetry, the valances, the MCD blinds, the backsplash, the countertop. This motorhome in every Fleetwood motorhome is meticulously picked out with their color choices. I think it's beautiful and fantastic. And they always deserve like number one for that. They do. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is going to be, I like the side-by-side -side washer dryer. Yes, that's a very nice feature. I, I like that because a lot of times when we see the ones that have the combo and it's like sticking out this way, yep. it has the stackables, I don't, I don't like that. I feel like it's you have more space in here to definitely do laundry. That's going to be number two. And then Andrea, you know, I sound like a broken record a lot. So what my goal is, is to really like expand my likes and dislikes. And, you know, just think of something different. So here's what I'm gonna say. Um, number three, I'm gonna like how they put this on an XCS chassis, straight rail. You still get fantastic storage, but it's making this a more affordable price point. After COVID and everything, all these RVs shot up. And so diesel pushers became unobtainable for a lot of the market. Well, this unit and every unit on the XCS makes it so it's a fantastic price point in Andrea. You just can't beat 299 for a Class A diesel pusher. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this unit or any unit, we're with General RV, and we are going to get everybody the absolute best price in America. Please reach out to us before you buy an RV. Doesn't matter where you live nationwide. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Fleetwood does read the comments. They do watch the video. So please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.